The pandemic leading to a fight over garbage in the southwest Atlanta neighborhood. So imagine seeing kids just outside trying to have a good time, but they have to walk in the busy streets because the sidewalks you see here so full of trash. Families told our Caitlin Ross they want the city to step in. The brush, the sidewalks, the trash, the pandemic, it was just getting too much for us. Grace Hamlin says her neighborhood in southwest Atlanta is overrun with trash. This summer, she showed 11 Alive garbage littering the sidewalks and broken down street signs. She says not much has changed. In a time when you're not feeling very good about yourself and, and you're losing everything, that why, why do our services have to be neglected also? She says she's tried to get help from the city time and time again because the garbage on the sidewalk is creating a dangerous situation for the neighborhood kids. And now I have kids walking on the highway to get to the, the corner store to eat at the McDonald's and Wendy's off Met Metropolitan Road. Councilmember Joyce Shepard says she's aware of the complaints and was horrified when she saw the condition of some of the streets off Langston Drive. I just saw a lot of stuff on that whole street. So I had code enforcement to go out there and write everything up on the street from one end to the other. Cut the right away, take the trash out, do a lot of things like that. I did all of that within the last month. Councilmember Shepard thinks the majority of the garbage comes from people who live outside the area and use the neighborhood as a dumping ground. She says Public Works was just in that area cleaning up last Friday, but today it looks like this. So on Langston Avenue, I could go pick up trash this morning. If you went back tomorrow, you would say, when did y'all do a cleanup? Because the trash is back out there. Grace thinks there needs to be a more permanent solution to keeping the community clean. What is happening in our community is really reflective of what's happening in our country. And right now, we don't feel like anybody cares about what's happening in our communities. Councilmember Shepard says she has several long-term projects in the works, including a twice-weekly cleanup and a new police precinct in the area scheduled to open in October.